guys, it's me and Nico321, and we're here with Feed the Beast. Now, this is another tutorial, and for the first tutorial, I decided we're going to go into peat, we're going to go into forestry, okay? I'm going to show you how to create a fully automatic peat farm. It's rather efficient, but I would advise not fully keeping it on all the time. Um, since I use build, it uses buildcraft pipes instead of pneumatic tubing because that's the only one that appears to work fully with this mod. And I don't understand the gates fully. But if you understand the gates, um, I will be. If you understand gates, then go ahead and tell me in the comments of how. And please tell me how they work fully because I am not entirely sure, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> right, I'm just changing my field of view, sound, and music off, video settings bright. Controls. I haven't. I literally just reinstalled it into my. Yep. Okay. There we go. Credit plus. Okay. So what we need is a fertile area. Let's try this. This um, cracked sand area. Okay. So we've now found our fertile land. What we need now is a peat bog. And we don't really. We need a turbary. So here's the peat bog. Here's a tur here's a turbary. Peatbog is the brown. The you can tell in forestry which machines go together because they've got the same color. If I go and f find some forestry stuff, like if the data files haven't changed since I've last played this. Um, yeah. If you look, here's the no. These are the historic section. Uh, I will find it. Yeah. Here, look. The the combine, which is green, will go to farm, which is also green. Here, look. The farm is green. The combine is green. The logger is orange. And the arboretum is also orange. The peat bog is brown. And the turbary is brown. You can tell, basically, by what colours they are. Now, these need energy. These need buildcraft energy to power them. Buildcraft energy being engines. So... I'm just going to use um, electrical engines because of it's easy for me to do that. So if I just get some solar panels. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, I'm using Direwolf pack. Direwolf pack. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> just going to place tons of these. In the future, I'm going to do this on my server. By the way, um, I'm. Not going to be hosting your server, but if you want to host a, if you want me to join your server, and have any questions, just ask away in the comments. Um, this is going to be a rather informal um, tutorial, I guess, because I haven't got much planned. Right, so I'm just going to place all of these. I'm going by memory for this. I haven't, as you can tell, I haven't built it at all in this map because it's a fresh map. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to place that in FSU because of, set, because of easy storage power, lots and lots of storage power for electrical engines. <laughs> Just remember, this needs to go down one. I could use a wrench, but we don't need that much power. Um, if you're wondering what the data values are, it's the same as before on my, on my um, NEI tutorial where you press R and it tells you the crafting recipe and then you hit say for example U and it tells you the usage of it. Pretty awesome, isn't it? We've been spoilt now. <laughs> spoilt bitter. So you set this up. Um of course you need to craft some peat beforehand. I'm just gonna set this up like this. So it's going to be just so I can see the area which we're gonna be using. Um, bog, uh, I'm just using this to see the area which we're going to be using. Okay, so it's going to start here. One, two, three would go into, I remember that. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, we're given... A nine by nine area to build in. So the nine by nine area, what you need is stuff to make make peat bog. Bogger, I mean. 
So Bog Earth is created by dirt, sand, and water. I use the water bucket method if you're wondering, using the water bucket. I will show you the reason why. So we're going to now get an aqueous aqueous accumulator which gathers water up from I don't know, from everywhere around it and some pipes, some waterproof pipes to be exact. So I'm just gonna use a gold water golden waterproof pipe and get some water. Is the, the water source? Oh yeah, if I wouldn't advise putting any of the blocks down while it's building, by the way, because it does have a tendency of breaking everything you've done. So yeah, warning over. Um, now we're going to carry on building. So what I would advise doing is with with your acres accumulator, place them in water because if I I'll show you an example. If I make a 3x3 three three pit, fill it with water, well, we place an acreage accumulator out here and it's gathering it really slowly, right? If we place it here, it's pretty much full. And that's only going to be on 3 or 4 by the time this is full. So, yeah, I would advise placing it underwater. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm going to be making a separate tutorial for acreage accumulators and other... Um, mod stuff like that, but if you're wondering, so as you can see, these fill up. Then you get your water piping and you place it where area where there's an orange slot. You can change where the orange slot is by the slot, by the way. I mean, slot is if you right click it, then you hit configuration. There's all of these things which you can click, which show basically the net of the machine. So this is the top, bottom, left, right, and that's the back. So if I change this, so it's got nothing, the back's got nothing. This disconnects because there's no point of connection here at all. But when I have to click it again, it reconnects again. Pretty awesome, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. <laughs> I found it out through someone else. I can't remember who. <laughs> okay, so we're going to bring the pipe in over here. And we're going to have a liquid transposer. Liquid transposer, I would advise pointing towards the, the, the ground. Because this face here, it just there to look pretty. That's it. It's useless in any mechanical way. Now you look over here and you're like, what the hell is all of this? The I can tell you now, if any, there's any blue points, any colour that's in here goes to here. So where does the yellow go? It's, I'm not entirely sure where the yellow goes, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> if I change these to be red, now, if I change all of these to be blank, actually, you left click and right click to change settings, by the way, if you're wondering. We want it so a bucket will come out and it will go through the top. So... We press it so it's blue. Then we want it so the and we want to extract the bucket. I can't talk currently. Extract the buckets from the back so we mark this red. And then there we go. We also need to mark the area where the water is going to come in, which is underneath for us. Also blue. So then this fills up with water. That's a mistake which I made beforehand. I don't want you to make the same mistake. Okay, so now we're going to get our pipes. Yeah, we have to use normal Billcraft pipes, and we're going to see that out. There is other ways of doing this, sort of. Like, this is not entirely another way, but it sort of uh, stops most overflow by binning everything that overflows into the lava. Or use gates. All of these things, which I sort of understand, but... <laughs> It's not my best bit. Now, we're going to get this into, um, pump the buckets into a chest. And then we're going to have another chest next to that. And the idea is, um, we want to make sure that the buckets that come out of here are full, and are empty. And the buckets that enter, and buckets that enter it are full. So what we do is we have these pipes coming over. And now you see that the pipe will connect, it's connecting to the chest, so we can transport, tra change it to a sandstone pipe, which changes its entire, which changes it so it doesn't connect to anything, which is pretty damn awesome. Sandstone pipe, sandstone pipe, cobblestone pipe. Okay, so now, I don't know, we need that, that's the output, oops. 
Uh, I'm getting messages elsewhere. Oh yeah, we don't need turbury and peatbog anymore. <laughs> right, so this is the output. The output goes into this chest here. Right, actually, we're going to change it. So the craft, I'm going to change it around a little bit. So we're going to place a crafting table down. The crafting table is bloody important, to put it that way. So, in the crafting table, we're going to have the bucket of water, sand, and dirt. And we're going to craft some bog earth. There we go, six bog earth. And we're going to leave it. We don't want to touch it. If we touch it, then uh, shit goes to hell. <laughs> nah, it doesn't, don't worry. Um, and here we have the peat bog already sort of slightly full. Right, so we want to place a chest around the crafting table. We want to do that because if we place a chest around the crafting table, it takes stuff out of the crafting of the chest and puts it into the crafting table, which is pretty damn awesome. Now we're going to go to do an easy bit. We need a magma crucible. No, we, yeah, I think it was a magma crucible. Was it? No, it wasn't a magma crucible. <laughs> we need a igneous extruder. This thing here. So this will generate us cobblestone. So if I get myself a piece of lava and some water, just fill this up with lava, fill this up with water, it will start generating us cobblestone. Why do we want that? Well, if you macerate or pulverize um, a piece of cobblestone, you get sand. And why do we need sand? I'm not entirely sure, I say. <laughs> right, so we want the output for this one to be on the back. So we change this to be orange. And this is now going to be intaking stuff for, to the correct sort. But this, of course, needs power. So what do we do? Hmm. We set an electric current to it. Well done, viewer. You're so clever. You, you're reading my mind. Whew. I'm turning insane and talking to myself, aren't I? Yes, I am. Well done. And then we power it. And this starts pulverizing pieces of cobblestone. Yay. Now we want the output, which is the red bit, to be on the right. Because that's where the output is. <laughs> so we're going to output this to the chest over here. And you will see why soon. Sorry this is such a long tutorial, but I, I'm, I'm sort of explaining everything. Right, just going to cover this up so it doesn't get annoying later on. It will get annoying later on still, doesn't matter what I do. <sighs> and places over here. Okay, so the dirt now, you're wondering, where would that come from? Well, whenever your, your um, cultivator mines a piece of peat bog, it will instantly drop some dirt off. The dirt will go into the... will, will circulate in the peat bog before having going out a certain pipe. Now, what we want is to have a diamond a diamonds transport wire. Oh, don't worry, I'll fix this but this one later on, don't worry. And I'm going to place it above this, okay? So what we want to do now is have an input of the, from this to go up here and to then realize it has to go down there. We also... <laughs> down here, I mean, on the side. Oops. We also want one to go down the side of this. And we're going to have a chest on the top. So let me get my crystal chest. Yeah, this is, if you haven't realized this already, this is very, very costly. <laughs> Oops, I just remembered crystal chest. I mean, thingies don't like it when you place a chest on, on top of it. Now, we're going to go into this. Hopefully, you've made a piece of. You Now, what you want. <laughs> Stop it, brain. Calm down. One step at a time. 
Right, so what you want, I'm going to paste on this side because then I can connect this pipe to here. And then I'm going to change the, sa the stone because I said so. <laughs> no, because then I can make a cobblestone pipe go off here and come into there. Okay, I've entirely destroyed that piece of peat and it's gone out of existence. Now we want to change this so on the blue section, dirt goes through. On the white section, peat, the thing that we're trying to get, goes through. Um, what else? On the, we don't want anything to go through the yellow section because that goes back to that. And we want bog earth this thing to go through the red so now the bog earth will go into the machine here the dirt will go out of the machine and into the chest where it's going to be used up here for the crafting recipe the actual peat is going to go up into the chest I'm going to change it so it's peaceful so yeah We've nearly fully created our automatic farm. Last thing we need to do now is have buckets going through. So what you what you need to do is have a filter. This is the only red power bit that there is for the whole thing, I promise. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is the only red power thing. Then we're going to have pneumatic tubing into here. And then the rest of it is just pipes going through. Oops, pipe needs to go through to the top because that's where our input of this is. So, yeah. Then we go into the filter. We get our empty bucket and we place it in the filter. Then we got a timer and we place it next to the filter. And now it detects if there's any empty buckets at all in this chest. And if there is, it will send it down into here. And if I get a gate. Let me get myself a orchid diamond ore gate. It will now detect if there's any items in the inventory and then it will pulse. Which means if I place a bucket in here, 16 buckets, it should start to pulse. Yeah, see, it's starting to extract buckets now from that really fast. It's the only bit of gates which I understand <laughs> how to help with stuff. So let me just place one here. Will this work? So, hmm, space and inventory, energy pulser. So we have a we have that, we don't have any buckets at all, which will be fixed as soon as this comes through. Ah, oh, I forgot, this needs, this needs electricity also. Oops. And we don't need connecting, so we use sandstone pipes, if you remember from earlier. Just power this on. Get myself my cable. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. That's how I like it. <laughs> So now this will basically put stuff into the buckets and output it into the chat into the chest. Let's get some golden transport pipes. Because here it actually makes full, a full difference because of the distance all of this had to go. One, two, three, four. Now to wait for all of that. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we need sandstone. No, we. Uh, that's a problem. Now stuff is going to be outputted into here. We don't want that. So let's point the filter downwards. Sorry, but if we don't have, if we have that the way that it was, then items will come out of here and go into the filter, and we don't want that because then it starts. Messing, it, we start wasting bog earth basically. We don't want to waste stuff. We're, we're all green and stuff and care about the environment totally. Damn it, I forgot to put, put changes to your bucket. <laughs> Oops. As I 
I said, this will make a big difference to have golden transfer pipes here. Instead of just speeding stuff up slightly, it will increase... Oh, God, no. Don't want you to go through. Sorry. I'm sorry, Bucket, but... You have to live on with your friends or to break the whole system. Okay, you need wooden trans. Okay, it's confirmed. You need wooden transport pipes for these gates to work. Let's just place wooden transport pipe. Place this here. Now, if there's it's if there's it's items in inventory, energy pulser. Now we will make the maximum amount of bog earth we can, which currently that many because of the lack of dirt. And look, we've made four peat. Now you can theoretically leave this for as long as you like, as long as you've got electricity or energy going through it, it's going to be perfectly fine. So yeah, hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you've got any questions, which I'm sure you probably do, look at that peat just travelling up the pipe. I'm so happy this works. <laughs> And I bet you, I bet you also, because that means now all your peat bog, all your peat troubles will now come to a close. Of course, you didn't have any peat troubles because you're an awesome human, or not human like me, because I'm a cat with a keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> and Google Translate. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you've liked the tutorial, hit hit the like button. Um, it will show you. It will show me that these are actually helping you. If you didn't like the tutorial, tell hit the dislike button. But please tell me how to um, improve. Because if you don't tell me how to improve, how am I to improve? That's a good question. <laughs> Ah, and I found a problem also. <laughs> problem after problem after problem. So now it's outputting bog earth into there. So yeah, don't do exactly what I've done, but try to make yours as efficient as you can using gates and stuff, and... and red, red pipe wire, because if you use that, then the output, then all the excess will be minimal. <sighs> so yeah. We've made nine peat since the start of this tutorial. This is very, very, this is rather slow, but that's because of the how long it takes for peat to grow. So anyway, hope you found this tutorial helpful. It's me on Nick321, signing out. Peace out, guys. Boop.